Hey guys, we're back with another episode of Magic the Gathering Duels of the Poop Walkers. Poopin' on the Poopenstein. Poop, 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 pause, poopy. <laughs> wow. I'm Rob. Uh, this is Nick and Austin are here. I think we should all just take a minute here. The <laughs> uh, the bar from episode 101 apparently <laughs> was just dissolved into nothing. <laughs> and it really was not that set very high, let's be honest here. <laughs> right, but, but it <laughs> was destroyed. It's gone now. There's no more bar. We're starting with you, you pooping in the Cosby. Poopenstein. Full Cosby. Full yeah. Cosby. yeah. I, you know, I, I gotta say, I, I really like adding, like, in Stein to the ends of uh, of words. It's really fun. You, you should try it more often because it is it is one of my favorite go-to. Uh, I, I wouldn't call it a joke, but you know what I mean. I don't you know, know he's not actually Poopenstein. It's Poopenstein's monster. <laughs> You know, you might be right. You know, I, I actually went back and watched uh, that uh, that part in that episode. <laughs> yep. I found it. It's episode 79. <laughs> well. Oh, couldn't be 10 less. Yeah. I know, exactly. I wish I could I, have it on episode 69. I love the funniest thing I've ever done on this series is had a stutter <laughs> that came out funny and dumb. Like, that's how much intelligence well, that I can bring to so, this. <laughs> here's what's weird is I found out, um, like, the other day. That that the, the people stumbling on words and it's changing them into other words. Yeah, thing. it's it's. I find that to be like the funniest thing apparently because I I, I watched I saw a uh, a thing on Advice Animals, uh, socially awkward penguin. And I, I don't I don't subscribe to Ow. Advice Animals. I actually really hate Advice Animals. But like, like Seth MacFarlane. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not really though. He doesn't. But, uh, but uh, anyway, I really don't like uh, advice animals, but they got moved off of the front page of Reddit. Uh, so I, I wanted to go poke fun at them and, and see how sad they were. Um, but then the top thing was really funny. But it was basically that same thing where someone someone mis made a mistake of the basically what happened in the uh, in the socially awkward penguin is um, a co-walker goes up to a guy and he asks him uh, <laughs> if he wants some of his fries. Co-walker? Did, did you did just tell a joke? Was that the joke? <laughs> Did you just was that the punchline? <laughs> I can't handle what, your comedy, I, Rob. You're so far over my head right now. I'm, I'm oh meta comedy, man. I, I'm so meta comedy that I don't even know the joke that I made. What did oh, I do? you said Co Walker. Co Walker oh, in a I, joke I, about how I, funny I, it is that people change <laughs> words. Okay, so so the, the Co Walker walks over to this dude. With Kirk, another person works, walking, works over. Yeah, he walker. works over to this dude, oh. and um, <laughs> and he's like, he's like, uh, uh, hey, would you like some more of my fries or some of my fries? And he couldn't think. He was trying to say, I'm good, and also I'm okay. So the coworker says, Hey, do you want some some, uh, some of my fries? And he's just like, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny, because I can just imagine the situation. Like, if it were me, I would say I'm gay and then start burst out, like, I'd burst out laughing, and I would look insane. I would look like an insane person. Can you imagine walking up and saying, yeah. you really like, surprise, I'm gay. <laughs> just, like, walk away in fear that he's going to murder me. Oh, my God. I'm still kind of stuck on Co-Walker. I am, just... too. <laughs> That was just way good. too meta for me, dude. It's awfully early in this episode for me to already have tears in my eyes. We only just started. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a meta humor man, you know? You do that. They call me. Because, uh, I don't know, I could. So why is that so funny, right? It's because it's unintentional, right? It's the fact it, it's that you the made It's the most a... unintentional yeah. thing I think you can do. And, and it just sounds funny, too. It, it's... I don't know, man. Just it's something in, about people stroking out is just... It's inherently unpretentious yeah. because you did it by accident, so you weren't looking for approval. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> yeah. Path, Path of Exile. exile. <laughs> Better oh. than Diablo 3. My boar. All right, fine. Um, but yeah. But it's great. Like, I, 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 it happened in a video I was watching recently on YouTube, too, and it's just all the people who were in that video just started cracking up, and it's like... That has to be the funniest situational comedy that exists. Besides farting, maybe farting's funnier, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Farting's I really all right. like Seinfeld. <laughs> Seinfeld is very good situa situ situational comedy. I don't know. I, I, do, I do. I I basically what happened is I was I, I was tweeting about this about how I was like just cracking up 
over over this. And then there was another there was another one that was posted in the comments that were that was really good as well. And I forgot what that was, but it was also really really funny. Um, oh oh, that's what it was. It was I think it was. Uh, oh no no no. Okay, there's a different one, but th this one's still pretty funny. It's uh, this guy. This guy is telling a story about how he was playing soccer one time, and people might know this one, um, but he's playing soccer one time, and he try like, the ball gets kicked up to him in the air, and he tries to, like, you know, do, like, a sweet aerial kick to hit the goal, but instead he just kicks the goalie in the face. <laughs> <Okay>. um, and, <laughs> and he he was trying to say, um, like, uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm so sorry, and I'm, or, like, um... He started trying to say, are you okay, and I'm so fucking sorry, but instead he blurts out, are you fucking sorry? <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is one That'll of the oldest. serve him, right? Yeah. yeah. Just Reddit jokes. Yeah, there. There's, then there's a part of you that's like, do I just embrace out. this chaos that I've just created? Do I just say, yeah. you know what? Fuck this guy. He's fucking going down. I'm going to keep kicking him. Are you fucking I'm sorry? In, I gotta go. Yeah. Are you fucking sorry? <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine yelling that after kicking a man. It's <laughs> I am, and it's yeah, making me cry I mean, laughing. I, I, would, I would probably start, I would start break out laughing when that when that happened, and I would look like such a big asshole if I did that. Right. Just kicked a man in the face, ask if he's sorry, and then start laughing. <laughs> he's like bleeding in front of me because I jammed a cleat in his eye. Is he a goat? Yeah. <laughs> bleeding. Exactly. Bleeding. Yeah. So, well, I, I am an alpaca, let's, let's be honest here. Uh, you bleat from time to time. Do they bleat? Is that a word that alpacas do? No, we kind of like mumble. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, like a Oh. Sound. <laughs> what is that jingling? Uh, that's, is that does he have a bell around? Yeah, that's what I was imagining the bell going off yeah. as he's, he's saying. Yeah, I, well, I, when I get excited, I, I <laughs> pop my head back and forth, you know, like like uh, Stevie Wonder. Um, I feel like I'm kind of boned right now, by the way, magic wise. <laughs> like, no, you who guys cares? Are all a lot stronger than me. <laughs> well, the both. deck I have is kind of bad, though. Yeah. Uh oh, yeah. oh god! This guy attacking in magic. What a scumbag! Uh -oh. I really should have peed before I played this. You had you every that? chance in the world. We talked for a half an hour, Rob. You did, I and know, then you didn't even give me a countdown I, like a scumbag. Even, I needed I, it. I, I won't. I, I'll blame no one but myself. But you, uh, you, you're kind of like our friend Alex. We were about to play Dota, and then he was just like, we, we got into the game. He was like, guys, I'm really sorry, but I have to go take a shit. Yeah. It's like we, we waited in the lobby for like five minutes. What? <laughs> Why wouldn't you go then? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's, Don't even uh, do it when you can still back out of the queue either. Just wait until the game actually starts. Yes, no, that's yeah. that's what happened. What well, was the, like the, the the pregame? It was the game. The 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 dong ringing was was the yeah. time. <laughs> the dong, the dong ringing. ringing. Now I, it sounds like I'm going to say that. But my I dong won't stop ringing. The, the word, so mm -hmm. I knew it rhymed with dong, so I just said dong. But I actually mean to say you're, that. You're only one plosive set off. You know, it's, it's fine. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, actually, speaking of Dota, I know people don't really particularly like Dota, uh, but I will say that uh, it's pretty goddamn amazing that uh, that it is... That they, they raised more than more than they raised it all of last year from the compendium, which is okay. So every year there's the international tournament in Dota, which is like the big show that's put on by Valve and it hosts all the best teams and it's really amazing. It's an incredible show and every year they've always had the biggest prize pool of any esports event ever. And last year they did this thing where if you buy a compendium, part of that money goes towards the prize pool. So um, all of the money that they raised last year over the course of three plus months was raised this year in two days so wow, i guess yeah so they, they're adding they added another two million dollars onto the prize pool and there's still another like two months for this to raise money as well yeah yeah it's it's pretty goddamn absurd and there's actually a lot of really cool things with the compendium this year uh more than there were last year so when yeah. you said raised i was really hoping you're gonna say that they raised the level cap in dota because <laughs> it's like, it's really low. <laughs> I really hate how low it is, and also how few maps that there are in Dota. I think there needs to be many more maps and much a higher level cap. And maybe much also, a higher much level. Much a higher level cap, much yes. 
much at a higher level cap. We can't <laughs> speak today. I really didn't think what I did was all that big of a deal, it but since you wanted to roll it just, with it, you know, it like... It just seemed a little off. Lampshaded. Like yeah, it worked, but I felt like there was a little bit of an intentional there. Like, yeah. I just, I catch on words sometimes, I just have trouble speaking clearly. No, yeah, definitely. And, uh, also, one, days when I have headaches, it gets way worse, and today I had a pretty bad headache, so it's, like, me trying to recover that, and sometimes, you know, it, it just raises the level cap a little bit. <laughs> sometimes it raises the level cap. You, you know, I, I have really bad bed aches. Kind of well. sounds like, uh, you, you like to eat the poo-poo guy you went there almost. I, yeah, yeah, I guess. Funny story. I don't like that guy very much. I heard this on the radio. I heard this on the radio. Eat the poo-poo guy. Due to a new law, a really bad law, uh, actually is going, I think, to jail. Eat the poo-poo guy. Right, that's kind of cool. For, he's going for the wrong, or uh, oh. weird, weirdly ironic reason, uh, because of the like the anti-gay law passed, and he yep. had been showing gay porn as a way to show how <laughs> oh. gay it is. Wow, that's but irony for you. Apparently, he they don't really like him doing that, so now he's going to jail for the gay porn that he was trying to get people not to. You see where I'm going here? Yeah, I do. It's kind of ironic. Like, he didn't want them watching it, but he was displaying it, and yeah. they were watching it, and now he's in jail, I hope. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. That's really funny and great. That is, that's really funny. Well, it's not great that he has to go to jail because he's showing gay porn, but at least the ironic yeah. justice is, is there. Um, that said, I don't know if you did this on purpose, Austin, but you said uh, due to... Uh, however, you didn't enunciate properly, and you said "doo doo" uh, when you were when you were telling that story, and uh, I thought oh, that was pretty funny. It's pre pretty pretty fitting as well. You guys didn't. Uh, oh man, I would have to find man. You guys said. I know. <laughs> yeah, he said "doo doo." Is no, pretty, I'm I'm just gonna good. like die soon because I don't have enough creatures here. Yeah. Fucking Abyssin's glory, man. I don't even feel right winning with this deck. Yeah, Abyssin's glory is kind of a butthole, a little bit. It's like super butthole, man. Yeah, it's pretty butthole-ish. So. Like, each turn I'm killing one of your creatures, it just doesn't matter because they're all getting stronger every time. Yeah. 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 Not all of them, but yeah. I got a, got a lot of wolves over there, up. I don't appreciate that. Not a lot. There's some wolves among us, then. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah, I'm sorry. That thing. I don't want that. Okay, at least I have another one. Yeah. Don't, don't have another Bramble Crush, please. I'd be okay if you had another Bramble Crush. I wouldn't be okay with that. I'd be un-okay. Un-kay. Mm, I'd be <laughs> okay. I'd the be donkey. anti-k. Mm -hmm. Don did you say donkey? I did I did say that, yes. All right, that's, good for uh, you. That's what I said, yeah. Excellent. Full play, Thank friend. You, yeah. Uh, and I hope I draw a card that's uh, not land. Yeah, I haven't really been drawing lands. You guys have a lot more lands than I do. Yeah, I've been drawing lots of lands. You don't really need a lot of lands with Absence Glory. Nah, I got four, and that's like plenty, man. Yeah. It's a strong What are you deck. doing, man? Oh, Soul's Fire. Soul's Fire. Uh -oh. oh, shit. Soul's Fire. Oh, shit. What's gonna happen? Hallow. Oh. That sucks. Wow. Don't do that. Fuck that guy. Oh, I guess it just didn't work. Never mind. <laughs> what? What? Why? Wait, I, I don't know. <laughs> prevent all damage target spell would deal this turn. You gain life equal to the damage prevented this way. Okay. I don't know why it didn't work. Oh, uh, oh, okay. This is why. So Soul's Fire, Too late. it doesn't actually, the spell itself doesn't do any damage. It's target creature you control on the battlefield deals damage equal to the power of, of uh, target creature. Fucking semantics. Players. So yeah. I, can use, I can use this again then? This yep. card does that, and then oh, stop it. Oh, I'm <laughs> no, I'm not dead, but I'm close. Uh, oh my god, dude. <laughs> GG magic way too hard. <laughs> yeah. Well, in fairness, you know, you didn't really waste that card. The Hallows, <laughs> you tried your best with it. You know. Yeah. You know, you gave it your best. That's all you can really ask for. You gave it your all. You oh. gave it your balls. I'm so dead. And I'm not in a great place, I'll admit. I mean, I could kill Nick. You did poke the bear, let's be honest. <laughs> you poked him. You poked him with your penis. Yeah. What? No. You used your penis to poke Nick. I didn't use the penis, man. That's not... I yeah, didn't do... Use your penis. Look, man. I didn't do that. There's video evidence. You can't... Wait, is... Yeah, you were here. We recorded the whole thing. Whoa. I... Was I drinking? I don't know what you were doing, but it's going to be up on Pornhub soon. No, man. <laughs> 
Just it's gonna it. have the tags where you can see where the cum shot is. The, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't feel comfortable about this, guys. No, oh god, what did I do, man? What's what this? Did? Oh god! I think we both mm -hmm. We're gonna lose! <laughs> That's okay. I think we both lose. <laughs> Okay. Tonight we dine in hell. I'm not even going to put some on Nick either, just all on me. You don't no. know what he's going to do at the end of the turn. He might. Yeah, who knows? All That's right, all we're going to do that. And we're going to do that. And then we're going to do that. And then that's all I got, man. Yep. Are you just wiping all his creatures? Oh, no, you wiped him. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's a dead yeah, man. Yeah, poke the bear. Man. That's really all that was. Uh, bear, bear got poked. I didn't poke it, that bear. <laughs> a little um, poke. Look, man, I don't know who's poking bears, but I didn't do it. I mean, unless there's video evidence, in which case. I'm telling you, there's tags. <laughs> oh. You're poking him, poking him in his belly with your wiener. What? Why? I don't know why you did yeah, that. I don't know why you did that. <laughs> yeah, this is a bad. You shouldn't have poked him. Really shouldn't have poked him though. I don't know. You were poking that bear. Who is? Oh, are we defining who is him? Uh, you. Uh, Zim. You poked. I think. You poked the bear. No, who's mm -hmm. the bear though yeah. in this situation? Me. I think really magic. Both. To that's gathering. that's both. what I was. That's what yeah, I was. Yeah, both. I'd say both magic and Nick. Bo no, oh. both the magic and the gathering. Oh, I see. Oh I get you. Both of them are involved. <laughs> Souls fire. Oh my god! Let's just all go touch oh, dicks, guys. Dude. Why would we do that? I don't know. We already poked the bear. The bear is the only thing you're going to touch. Wow. Yeah, you want to poke more than the bear. Look, if I'm going to poke one thing, I'm going to poke all the things. Yeah, that's fair. <sighs> like 20, hmm. years, 20 years from now, I'm going to I'm gonna be talking with like my future family or whatever, or just like some business opportunity. Future so, family but, from the I'm future. Yeah, I used to do this uh, this cool like uh, video series with these friends over the internet. It was great. Oh my god, Rob, it was great. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, we we well, what'd you talk about? Oh, uh, touching the bear. Dicks. Yeah, no. a lot of dick touching it happened. Touched our, a lot of dicks. This would be really awkward, man. Yeah, a lot of dicks. That happened. We fucking lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> GG! Wait, why did I die? I thought I took five damage there. It's or did I trample? Yeah, trample? Oh, okay, yeah. trample. Do yeah. it. Yeah. That that card is pretty bullshit. Overall. It's all right. It's all right. I mean, I used the no, same it, card it's... three times, so I can't really talk. Yeah, yeah. No, you 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 won two games in a row on Overrun, if I remember correctly. I, I, think I just someone that plays game Overrun. Overrun. I died real hard on Overrun last time, or I died yeah, hard yeah. in general last time. Mm, Live yeah, yeah. Or die hard. Oh. Die hard five. Live that strong, cool. die hard. Die that, that, hard unless you don't have to die. Lance Armstrong I, I, makes fists with his toes. I have to say, cheating. die hard five, pretty bad. They should, they should call Did he something. live strong, die hard? He uh no, that's not that's the that's the Neil Armstrong documentary actually is is what that is. Oh, that wasn't even Lance. Neil so. Armstrong. We're now yeah, two Neil, Neil Armstrong, We're another Armstrong yeah. removed. Can we yeah, get the one yeah. from Full Metal Alchemist involved too? I feel like yeah. like the the name Armstrong is like just a relic from super long ago, and it's like one of the oldest names. Cause who Armstrong is like yeah yeah he's got strong <laughs> arms yeah it's like, or, I, it's like Smith. I, I imagine some kind of like black or something. Yeah. yeah, Smith Smith means blacksmith actually. Oh, so, yeah. so yeah. Smith Armstrong really that guy. If your if your name was Smith Armstrong, yes, but you'd be real good at your job. Haha, uh, -ha Clinton Dix. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> full circle, full circle. It's not even a circle. The circle didn't start here today. Yeah, yeah. It really didn't go anywhere. We kind of it's like a dot. We just sat. Yeah, let's just keep going. It's, it's one point line. on an infinite line to oblivion. I, I mean, I really just, I hope that HaHa ha Clinton Dix is just an amazing NFL player. Like, so good that he becomes the new face of the N NFL when Peyton Manning just, retires. Dude, can you to hear his somebody name? in my comments yeah. said that's not even his actual name and that you got your sources wrong. No, dude, that's, that's, that's guy, it's, it's like Hashan or something. No, I, I saw that, that he's wrong, firstly, if you're oh. still watching, wrong. Shit, shots fired. Here's the thing, his full name is not HaHa ha 
But the thing is, he wants to be called Haha. Ha. It's not really a nickname anymore. And he was drafted as Haha ha Clinton Dix. Okay. Uh, all of the analysts called him Haha ha Clinton Dix. The on his press conference, he was Haha. Ha so listen right here, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> by by all intents and purposes, that man is Haha ha Clinton Dix. Yes, his full name is not Haha, ha, but it is. Th- I mean. Even so, like, his last name is officially Dix. Like, <laughs> his name is hyphenated so that it's not just Dix. But it's but not D-I-C-K-S. Dix. It's D-I-X. No, it's D-I-X. D-I-X. <laughs> it's Dix. Dix. It's still Dix. So, like, that's equally as funny as someone named Cox. C-O-X. It's not C-O-C-K-S. Yeah. There's a cable company named Cox. Yeah. There, uh, my, Are they my, bad? My friend. Yeah. <laughs> Cox is, I I'm, think, the fourth most popular big cable box in the com- in the country I, I i forgot my friend I, now this isn't the you this forgot your friend name. i forgot about my friend that's so you know, sad my friend uh, used to tell this story because he used to have this doctor um oh yeah okay that's what his name his name was uh like dr something cocksacky <laughs> it's and, a I'm place not kidding, right? his name was cocksacky is a place and, he lived at like like something ridiculous, like one two three Balls Road or something. <laughs> no, and it, it's like yeah, it was I like refuse to believe it. How are you gonna give this name? man's address away to the whole world? <laughs> one two three Balls. I'm gonna Google that. I'm gonna it's look. Not, it's probably not Balls Road, but it was something. One, two, it was three, something else. Balls it was it, Road. It was like Scrotum Street or something. Like it was Scrotum something dick related. Oh, there's and, a, it's, it's called it's, Balls Pond Road. Urethra Avenue. <laughs> Well, there's Placenta Bay in Canada. Vast Deferens Lane. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a bad one. I don't want to think about that. Oh my God! One, two, three, Balls Road, Waynesburg, Pennsylvania is a place. Stop! Holy shit! It might have actually been Balls Road because don't tell he could everyone have gone to Pennsylvania. <laughs> well, it, it, it wasn't where he lived. It was at where his practice what, was. So. View. If oh. everybody they're wants gonna to call go him to and be like, "Tell us about your balls, place." <laughs> I used to. I swear to God, I'm. I'm not joking. I used Wait, to have this. He was uh, a dentist, right? Uh, no, I think he was a like a Urologist. pediatrician. Oh, great. Yeah, I think pediatrician. It was, yeah. Ball Road. Yeah, look up. Look up pediatrician Coxsackie. Oh my God! Did your friend live in California? No. Damn no. it! So there's a there's a pediatrician at Ball Road, Cypress, California. See, look up Doctor <laughs> Coxsackie and see if you can find him. <laughs> Because I swear to God, I'm telling you, like he he said, it was it, it, I forgot the name, but it was something, it was something related to penises, and it was just like that's just too good. I don't know how you could, how do you live your Shaft life like Street? <laughs> Either, but I, I I had a teacher in high school actually. His name was uh, Richard Harden. Testicle Terrace. <laughs> so just in case people don't get that joke, Dick the Harden. nickname for Richard is Dick. So uh, name is Dick Harden. Oh, there's a place called Coxsackie in New I York. I said that when we started. The first no, we, thing I said, Coxsackie's a place. I said it three times. <laughs> maybe, maybe he, maybe he was on like Coxsackie Road, and his name. Yeah, was, like, there's a there's a place or something. Cox, yeah, maybe I remember it was Coxsackie. Balls. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, there's a bunch of like Coxsackie. I can't believe balls. you guys didn't want to just get on board with saying male genitalia stuff and then like a road or a street or a place. That was a really fun game for me, and nobody wanted to play. That was pretty good. I liked it. I, I think it was cool. better that it was it was only you just just blurting them out in between like dialogue. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! There's a PhD. Okay, there's a lady. Her name is Joyce E. Ballsberry. <laughs> <laughs> Ball actually Ethan Barry. Hold your horses because uh speaking of berries, I'm gonna put this up on on, on oh, video right now. Um and She's it's on LinkedIn. Be- oh no, Dr. Joyce Ballsberry. Now, if you guys have not seen this video, you have to. You already have, it's the most viral shit this week. Don't worry about it. It's it is, it is. But still, either way, I'm gonna put this up right now. This is a. Uh, I present to you, friends, uh, a, b- a bunny eating raspberries. There's a. There's a dude in the movie The Pink Panther Strikes Again in 1976, and his name in the movie was Professor Augusta Balls. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. It needs more though. Like you oh. gotta polish the balls to make it to be like a funnier joke. You really do. Yeah. Yeah. It would. It would be nice if they polished those balls a little bit. 
Just use like one of those one of those bowling ball. Uh, yeah, put cleaners. a nice finish on him, man. You want him to yeah. be shiny. You really do, yeah. You, you need to get some shine, some sheen to you. I learned from Doctor Evil in uh, what was it, Austin Powers too, that there's nothing more beautiful than a freshly shorn scrotum. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know mm -hmm. the truth to that, but you know, it's cool, I guess, if you're into that. Yeah, shaving your balls. Hey, anyway, we talked about dick afraid. sizes last episode. Let's talk about ball sheen this episode. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Putting any kind of blade near my genitalia is very scary to me, yeah. personally. I wouldn't want that. You yeah, think there's no, like I a know. luster scale? Like oh, for scale. shiny uh -huh. testicles? Like how yeah, smooth yeah. and shiny can you make them? I don't like, know, but there was eggs. an episode of Mythbusters. Oh my god, full circle. But there's an episode of Mythbusters oh where god. they... Uh, no, they challenged the uh, the idiom that you can't polish shit, and yeah. they took a bunch of shit and they polished it. And, uh, yeah, and then Adam Savage showed his butthole at the end. It was weird. <laughs> it's like this is where it came at. <laughs> it's a perfectly you know, actually, round, smooth egg. Somebody, somebody uh, I, I saw, I forget where, uh, but somebody, it was on Reddit somewhere. But I mean, uh, I forget which subreddit. But um, essentially, it was this guy who naked and and he was he was pointed towards the cat like he, he had his face towards the camera and he had his butt up in the air and like a you know what like a sexy girl pose would be if they were naked but he's just like a you know a middle-aged fat guy kind of okay. and uh and it was kind of it was kind of funny but anyway the, the the reasoning for this i i'll get into it so that it's not just like i was looking at naked pictures of dudes you should just um, stop right here just don't yeah. finish the <laughs> just story. Just end the episode right now. No, but uh, so somebody in the comments put the little beret on him and put glasses on oh, him, and he shit. looked exactly like Jamie Heineman. Heine. So <laughs> it's for good. It was like, yeah, you could just get uh, Jamie Heineman right there, the, uh, right aside Adam Savage's butthole. Guys, why do we keep talking about naked Mythbusters? <laughs> <laughs> no. We need to stop. We need help. We could talk about the Ghostbusters yeah. being naked instead. Yeah, we Dude, could. I would. I would watch a video of Bill Murray being naked. Oh, you would. All four of them crossing the streams. Yeah. Oh just... no! <laughs> yeah, cross the streams. He never crossed uh, the. Oh god. He the uh, what was I gonna say the um, uh, I still haven't seen. Have you guys seen the what is it called the Grand Budapest Hotel or something? No. Yeah, that's what it was. Really want to see that. But I love renamed. I feel like that's not the name of the movie. No, yeah, it's the uh, Grand Booty Breast Hotel. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Yeah, <laughs> that's like the the. You know what movie I think is underrated is uh, Tropic Thunder. You guys ever that's see a, Tropic uh, Thunder? That's odd. It was okay. I, I enjoyed that. I, I love Tropic Thunder. I thought it was very good. I think it was an underrated comedy film. But um, anyway, that movie just one of the best things. Is like, man, it's real hot here in Nam. Good thing I brought along with me this booty sweat. <laughs> 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 At this busted it. nut bar. <laughs> I just found Tom Cruise in that movie was really funny. <laughs> I know. Did you have? Okay, I'm, I'm going to ask you this question because I think I, I, everyone that I've talked to has had the same experience. Did you not know it was Tom Cruise until the end when he started dancing? I did not know it was Tom Cruise until someone told me. Yeah. I can't remember if I knew or not. Yeah, I, I remember. I remember watching the dancing scene and being like. Holy shit, is that Tom Cruise? And then I remember talking to other people about it and being completely shocked that everyone's experience was they didn't know it was Tom Cruise. Everyone was just kind of like really wow when the credits were up and it said Tom Cruise. They're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> when was he in the oh my god? <laughs> he was really uh, good in that movie too. Yeah. He was so good. But really, Robert Downey Jr. had like basically an Oscar performance in a comedy movie, and Did, uh, was he nominated actually, or was it, was it uh, the Golden Globe? Was he it? was he was nominated for another movie that year actually, um, uh, because he's just an amazing actor. I gotta look it up because I could have sworn that yeah, uh, he did get a nomination for that movie for an Oscar. Really? An actor, yeah. I think he. I think that's totally fair because he was super good in that movie. I remember watching that movie and being like, "God damn it, Robert Downey Jr., you're in a comedy movie. Don't make me cry. Like, <laughs> do good. Yeah. Do good. No, his comedic actually, time is pretty damn good. That's why Iron Man's so good. Because yeah, he's yeah. funny. And you know what also is really good? That. Under underrated movie as well. well Zoolander. I, I think it's a. I think it's a cult classic movie. I could be wrong. Maybe it is. But um, anyway. Um, you ever see Kiss Kiss Bang Bang with no. him and Val Kilmer? No. So good. It's really good. It was it, it's still in the era before he was uh before he was like really, really 
popular as he is now. Like he was always kind of popular, but then he started doing a lot of drugs, and then he like his career kind of fell off. And then he did Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, and I think Kiss Kiss Bang Bang kind of almost made him more marketable. And uh, it was he's he he really good in it. He was very good in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. He's a great actor. I love Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, yeah, he's uh Beautiful. excellent. I enjoy him a lot. Yep, I'd have sex. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt's gonna be in the next season of True Detective. I haven't seen the first season, but I hear it's really good. Where did that come from? Uh, just because I was thinking about other actors that I really like that I feel like are maybe underrated. Oh, Brad Pitt. <laughs> underrated. Yeah. I, yeah, well. I mean, yeah, I don't think he's ever been up for an Oscar, though. Uh, like, I feel like he was he was easy to hate early in his career and then never really respected as a good actor, but I think he's a very good actor. Uh, he, uh, oh, he was in 12 Years a Slave? Was he? Yeah, oh, he was nominated for Moneyball. Um, he was really good in Moneyball. Yeah, you gotta watch that. Nominated for good Curious Case it. of Benjamin Button in 12 You know monkeys. who should have been nominated for something that I don't know if they, if he was or wasn't? Uh, Jonah Hill on in The Wolf on Wall Street? Yes, he was nominated. Oh, was he? He, he was win. so fucking good. He was amazing in that movie. Like, I, I, the reason I thought about it is because he was really good in Moneyball as well. Yes, he was nominated. It, it was, it, it well. was a little bit more close to self, I feel, for him. Uh, with Moneyball, whereas Wolf on Wall Street was just like, he's just so fucking good in that movie. And yep. then, uh, Christian good actor. is in a new movie. I don't know why this turned into me talking yeah, about Yeah, just movies. basically just talking about certain actors. So yeah. yeah. No more comedy here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've also been uh, playing the bunny eating raspberries on the loop for the past five minutes. So. You know, oh, shit, you man. know what I really want to see win an Oscar is that uh, Jonah Hill's penis. I really want that. Like to see that. I'm good. I, I'm uh, good. Uh, sorry. I had to bring you <laughs> the penis back. I'm gay. <laughs> 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 I, yeah, I had to go for it, you know. It worked. It was great. I loved great. it. <laughs> it's so great. I am not fucking sorry about that. And now there's going to be a sound clip of that out there. Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. I'm going to make it, actually. Oh, thanks, Rob. Yeah, no problem. I'm actually anyway, yeah, heterosexual, uh, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Not that it matters, just saying. <laughs> you can't. It's over, man. Wait, no, on. I know. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Hold on. Not that... There's anything wrong with that, Seinfeld. Hold on. Gotta watch the video. Oh my god. I'm not showing videos on my side, so I think I'm just gonna wrap up the episode myself. And, <laughs> uh, you know, you can watch the Rob uh, post amble. It's like a preamble, but like at the end. Uh, yeah. Ambly, kind of ambly. So, hi, uh, I'm Nick, and you can uh, catch us again for another episode of Magic 2014 on uh, Mondays and Fridays. And I hope you enjoyed this one. And it got a little weird at the end there. But, you know, we made it out okay. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Nice. I appreciate you being here. Uh, you know, let us yeah. know if you're still enjoying the series and everything. We appreciate, you know, the likes and all that, too. If you do those things, we like them a whole bunch. So, yeah. mm -hmm. catch you all for the next one. Have Post a great night. Bye. Comments down below. Y'all come back now, you hear? Yeah, her. That's my new outro. Yeah, her. No, it isn't. No. Y'all yeah, come back now, you hear? We're going to find out that it's not in, like, five seconds. <laughs> this is all back with Joel signing out. Peace, Peace fools. Peace fools. Y'all come back now, you hear? Do that. This is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace this fools. This is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace fools.